name is Jennifer and I have a soapy kitchen and in that soapy kitchen I create all sorts of wonderful things and I hope you'll come in and join me today I am finishing off the sugar scrub series for Mother's Day we have a wonderful fruity concoction with made with ra black raspberry and vanilla it is absolutely decadent and if um, you're like me and you can't really eat sugar anymore but you just love 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 sweet things this kind of fills the gap a little. It honestly, honestly does. It smells decadent and wonderful and the, the scrub on your skin is just so, so revitalizing and, and skin softening. Uh, not everybody can use sugar scrubs, but for people like me that can, absolutely worth every single drop. Um, come on into my soapy kitchen while I show you how to make black raspberry. It's a double pour. Um, Sugar scrubs. All right, so come on in. Okay, we're gonna make another sugar scrub. So I'm adding some titanium dioxide. It's because I'm using a goat's milk base and I want it to be a bit whiter. I don't know if it's going to work or not. We'll see. I've melted my melt and pour. And now I'm going to divide it in half. So I'm going to put some in here and some in here. I'm going to add our fragrance oil, the today's black raspberry and vanilla, and we're going to do a bit of a swirl. So both of them are going to be scented, of course. And the company I'm using is Nature's Garden, Black Raspberry and Vanilla. So now I'm not worried about it being too, you know, too cold because it's going to be melted down again. Anyway, because the minute we put the sugar in, we're going to have the same problem happen. So the smaller amount, I'm going to put a little bit of charcoal and a little bit of red. So it's going to be charcoal red color. Okay, so we're just going to put a teensy bit of charcoal in. Just a little bit, maybe like half a teaspoon. Let's see how dark that makes it. Not much. Not much, not much. And then we're going to put some red in. This is red 40 in glycerin. Which makes it kind of purpley. sugars. So I've just got some regular beet sugar here for this one. Approximately the same amount of sugar as mountain pour. Just want it nice and scrubby. this down. Now you can mix this and then scoop it into scoops and have it look really really sugary or you can melt it down like I'm gonna do and give it a nice smooth look. be back and it's just a sugar shake. All right, so we're getting ready to pour them and I can't really see if I can see what you can see. I'll do my best here. Um, okay, the shadow's gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a double pour, which would be easier if I had
one was the best. Okay, we've got another one right here. Maybe about three, I think, or two. As usual, oops, one for moi. Oops, maybe, maybe not. Well, it'll be a scoopable one for me. There we go. So I'm gonna melt these down and uh, get one more. <laughs> I'll be right back. Alrighty, one more bar. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> the mold's all wonky. There we go. So I'll give this a scrapey. You can't scrape these like you can. Cold process bars. They just. Clump a little bit. <laughs> Alrighty. So there's a bar for me. Let me show you something fun. Because it's still hot, I can actually take some of this. I couldn't really scrape out and just poke it in there. Let's see what I've got over here. Well, this is going to be interesting when I mold it. I don't know if I need all of that, but put a little more white in there. I will turn that up after. There's another one I can maybe push up. Yep, it's still liquid. Give it a full complement. If the backs are bumpy, you can just trim them off with a beveler. All right, so there we go. Still got some scrapey scraping to do, but not on these bars. So there we go. A rat black raspberry vanilla sugar scrub, and uh, these will be in the store this week uh, if they're not already there. And uh, people have asked me about my sugar bars, and I usually get a few weeks use out of them. Um, of course, if you leave it in the water, it's going to dissolve faster, but it's still mostly soap and you don't, doesn't leave your skin feeling sticky. Uh, as long as you rinse it off, but you're going to rinse off your soap, right? Alrighty, let's get these out of the molds. So let's just, so you can see them all there. It's time to get these out of the molds. So I'll just line them up right here. These are my sugar scrubs in lilac. No. Yeah, no, these are the, I know why this doesn't smell like lilac, because it's not. These are the raspberry, black raspberry and vanilla. <laughs> well, I did them in two colors, so I would remember the scent, and then I thought it was lavender. Why does this lavender smell like? So black raspberry vanillas. Now each of them are going to look different, these are the poor, and that's okay, that's what we want. We want some unique characteristics to every bar. They really turned out really nice, I can't stop using my little scrubby. There's a pretty one, look at that one, it's got lots of the red. Now all these little bits, that's going to go into mine. 
just going to squish them into another one and use it up. It's so nice. Holy cow, guys. These sugar scrubs, um, they're, they're soap. They are soap. They're just like soap. And they don't last quite as long, but they last almost as long as a glycerin bar. They just... Look at those. Those are really pretty. I like how these ones kept a lot of the, the red for the black raspberry part. Look at that one. Pretty, pretty. Every single one is a reveal. Ooh, look at that one. This is how I like to do my sugar scrubs. Um, you can hand mold them and then roll them. Sure, that looks really cool too. But these are more polished and pretty, and this is how I like mine. I like them picture perfect. Well, the backs, I leave them rough because I put uh, maple sugar on the back of them. Usually, I think I did on this one. But I'm not going to do anything more for these. Sometimes I will paint them. These are perfect, exactly as they are. And, um,. Yeah, wrap them right away if you have a melt and pour that is um, prone to weepage. Mine is not. Um, so these will be naked for a while and then when I figure out how I'm going to package them, because that's kind of a thing, um, I will. There will always be one out for people to touch and see and feel. Alright, so until next time, this is Jennifer from Double Soaps. And uh, we'll see you with the next soapy project. Um, still working on lots of melt and pour magic. These guys are awesome. And for those of you that have been soaping a long time, maybe this is all old hat to you, but uh, for those of you just starting out, some fun projects that you can do and feel proud of and not have to worry if it's going to all be for naught because this, these mediums are so easy, easy to work with. And there's some new, um, bases out there like this one's olive oil and goat's milk um, but there's also like donkey milk and aloe vera and lots of really really fancy fancy um, bases out there you can also add shea butter to it um, it's it's really really a fun thing to work with um, so we'll see you all next time this is Jennifer from Gentle Soaps and Hope you enjoyed this Mountain Pour Magic presentation. Bye for now.